In this video, we're going to see how function can be returned from another function. We've already done how to pass a function as an argument. Um, you can check the video before proceeding with this one. If you have if you have not checked that before, this concept is somewhat similar to callbacks, and this is actually very easy. So, if you want to return a function from another function, the function that is being returned should perform something right otherwise there's no point to turn in it okay so I'm, I'm taking a very sim simple example here I'm going to define a function outside okay and then I'm going to define a function inside so I have a function outside external function and inside internal function okay and this inside function prints a message let's say hello and outside function returns inside function okay so here outside function has an inside function and this inside function prints a message on the screen and outside function is returning inside function Whenever there is a return statement, you have to use a variable to catch what is being returned. Even for um, when a simple variable is being returned. So here when I call outside function, since I know that I have explicitly used return statement, I need to use a variable to catch what is being returned when I call outside function. Okay, so I'm going to write C. So I'm taking this variable equals to outside. Okay, and now I need to call C function. C becomes a function now. And hello is printed on the screen. If I write, if I only write C here, because C equals to outside so outside function has returned this is call so we are calling outside function here and when the function is being called it returns something and we're caching that something inside C, C variable and if I print C here you see it will return the address okay now look at this function outside function has another function inside and to actually um, get some output you need to call inside function right even if you call outside function you will not get the result why because this message is being um, printed on the screen this statement where we are printing a message on the screen is actually a code associated with inside function so for that, you need to call inside function. Outside function is only defining inside function. It is not calling inside function. It is defining inside function. It is returning inside. It is not calling inside. Okay. So if you really want to get the result, you have to call this inside function as well. So when you write C equals outside, it returns inside right because we're calling outside function so when you call outside function it goes to the first statement okay it is a definition of another function then this is uh, a statement we are trying to print something um, but this statement is also associated with inside function and then it will return inside now this return statement is associated with outside function as you can see you know if you keep indentation in mind so this return statement is part of outside function and so outside function is returning inside inside gets returned here right name of inside function so now c becomes inside and we already talked about this concept in previous videos um, when c becomes inside now since inside is a function so c becomes a function and we will call C when you call C inside gets called in other words outside function returns the value 
you catch it here and then you have to use this variable to run this inside code this is a very simple illustration of um, how to return a function from another function.